Today I'm going to show you how to do a three-dimensional bulletin board that you can use to add interest and color to your spring bulletin boards this year. I'm starting out with uh, a tulip uh, that I have uh, cut out the parts for. Some of the things that you'll need, of course, will be uh, paper in the colors that you choose to use. You can use uh, red, of course, for tulips or white, uh, pink, yellow, uh, just, you know, any kind of colors that you choose will be fine, I'm sure. And you can actually use crayons, markers to add uh, more color to them if you choose to. I could have used white to maybe outline my uh, petals or something like that. So you could do those kinds of things too. So you start out with your paper. I cut a pattern. It looks sort of like a Christmas uh, light bulb, only just a little plumper. And these will be this will be the shape of my tulip petals that I'll use. I cut six of these uh, when I was uh, preparing my supplies and things. Another thing that you'll need, of course, um, will be just a little bit of tape. And what I use to do my bulletin boards with is a light duty uh, stapler. This is a staple gun and it's very handy. I have enjoyed using this and it's very uh, helpful when you're trying to put staples in the wall as you're doing your three-dimensional art. The first thing that I did, I cut a stem out of the paper and what that is was about three to four inches wide and whatever length that you want it and I just uh, twisted that Started, or just began to twist it and turn it into a long stem like this. So we'll start by putting that up here on our bulletin board, patching that. Then I'm going to start with my petals. I'm going to begin with the first petal and put it right up here. Okay. Then you just take the next four petals and just overlap them. And I've been stapling them toward the center of my uh, tulip. Just overlap these in this way. Okay? Then you should have something that looks pretty similar to that when you're through. The next thing that you need to do is to begin to use a little bit of tape to pull these toward the center and make your tulip more circular. Just pull it toward the center and put a little bit of tape where you need it to be. Okay, and then pull these over. It won't matter if the tape is showing right now because we've got one more of the tulip petals that we're going to bring forward. I'm going to take my final tulip petal and I'm going to put that right here at the base and I'm going to staple on either side of my stem. The next thing that I'll do is to take the tulip petal and fold it up like this. That'll bring the final petal into place on your tulip design. And then I'm going to take a couple of pieces of tape. These have just been rolled so that they will be sticky on all sides. And I'm going to take those, put them on the inside of my tulip petal, and then press that down to hold it in place. <clears throat> the last things that we're going to do will be to take some green leaves. I just cut out kind of just a, a green leaf, kind of a pointed type pattern leaf. And it can be, you know, they can be all the same size. They can be shorter, a little skinnier in places if you want them to be than what I've done. Then you just start placing those on the board and I just crisscross them to where we make a design with the leaves and that covers up 
some of the things that we've been doing with our pillow that might want to be, we might want to hide. Okay. And then the final thing that you can do, you can see that I did this over here on my original tulip, is to take and just kind of curl your leaves down. It adds a little fullness to the plant, and it just adds to the design just a little bit if some of those are, are kind of curled a little and a little fuller. Okay. So there's a couple of uh, tulips that you can use as patterns for your own plans and ideas. Um, mine, of course, on the right was a little hurried because of the video, but you can see the pattern that we've, we've done here and the type of uh, work that you need to do to create your own tulips. Um, I plan to do some more videos. I'm going to try to do um, a pansy and then also an iris. So I'll be working on those and those will be uh, coming up soon uh, in case you would like to, you know, check out YouTube and, and learn how to do those as well. Thanks a whole lot for watching.